What's good, YouTube? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Kanye West and things definitely aren't getting better for Kanye West as the entertainer was just sued by his former business manager for $4.5 million. So, you know, it's not looking good for Kanye West. Um, I'm going to give you all the full details as to why he's suing Kanye West. And y'all can let me know what y'all think. It seems like Kanye's situation, you know, it's not getting better. Just when we see where, you know, he got his Instagram page back, maybe he would, you know, be making a big 360 spin around and things would be going uphill for him. Well, maybe that's not the case. All right, guys. But before I give you all the information, don't forget to subscribe if you have a subscribe and also hit the like button and make sure y'all turn the notification bell on all. That way y'all can get notified whenever I post a new video. All right, guys. So let's get into the story so y'all can understand what's going on. All right. So it says Kanye West sued for 4.5 million by former business manager. Another lawsuit targeting Kanye West, reminding him he is a rapper. He has just been filed. His former business manager is now suing the star for 4.5 million dollars. According to the blast, Thomas St. John, one of the people the artist placed in charge of, a, of his business affairs, is suing him because Yeezy is in breach of contract after refusing to pay him his agreed upon monthly salary. St. John alleges Kanye was aggressively with him. When when he brought their agreement the complaint states that the celebrity business manager and accountant stated working with he at the top of 2022 and was hired to provide business management accounting and taxation services he further notes in the claim by march 30 2022 he was being introduced to yeezy's business associates as e business manager adding mr st john had already developed a business strategy for yeezy's negotiations with one of kanye's key business partners by april the 12th 22 representatives of mr west introduced mr st john to business associates of the cfo of danda another one of mr west entities st john wanted he to agree to a two-year guarantee business he would be working directly with the artist turned businessman to ensure his needs were met the lawsuit says in addition to the economic costs and risks associated with committing to defendants as clients plaintiff also needed assurance that defendants would not simply walk away from the business relationship Mr. St. John, however, proposed a compromise on an agreement with a minimum term of 18 months. St. John said his contract says he was retained to act as Kanye's most senior financial advisor, serve as the chief financial officer of one of the businesses, and be compensated with a monthly retainer fee of $300,000. However, at a meeting, Kanye wanted to nix the deal shortly after the agreement was made. At this meeting, Mr. West became heated and aggressive. He screamed at Mr. St. John and made clear he no longer wanted to work with St. John. When confronted by the 18 months commitment that had just been made, Mr. West stated words to the effect of the 18 month terms was and you're insane for even thinking I would stick to it. The complaint alleges the former multi-billionaire only paid three months worth of payments to St. John, nixing the other 15 months. The lawsuit states, as of the filing of this complaint, defendants breached the agreement by failing and refusing despite plaintiff demand to pay the minimum $300,000 monthly payments for July, August and September despite timely receiving invoices and it is clear based on their statements and conduct that defendants do not intend to make any further monthly payments as a direct and proximate result of Kanye's breach the company has been damaged in the amount of the unpaid fee balance of $900,000 as of October the 12th 2022 it continues it will continue to damage to be damaged for an additional amount of three million six hundred thousand dollars for fees owed from october the 2022 to november 2023 through the remainder of the minimum 18 month terms of the agreement earlier this week kanye was sued for not paying another bill for a place he rented in miami weeks ago after his drink champs performance george floyd daughter and another sued him for 250 million because of the derogatory remarks he made about the deceased also two firms that previously worked with kanye on deals and his marriage have all abandoned ways he has not responded to any of the lawsuits directly all right guys so what do you think about these lawsuits do you think that this person will win regardless of him being paid for three months right that's what the story said right 
So it's just that Kanye is not going to be working with him anymore. So I think Kanye might actually win this. But then again, you know, once you file, well not file, once you like sign an agreement, you definitely have to fulfill it. So I'm not sure if Kanye will have to pay him, even if he's not going to work with him. We'll just have to wait and see, right, guys? But let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.